Okay, so we are here, we're doing 1.6 problem solving strategies, guess and check. So this is a lot like 1.1, the very first thing we did, we did problem solving strategies, but this one we're specifically focusing on guess and check. So they're gonna give us a couple of word problems. Our first word problem is our example. Our second word problem, you'll try on your own and I'll check off tomorrow in class. Um, okay, so we're using guess and check strategy. Number one, entertainment. The drama club sold 120 tickets to the school play. I'm going to underline 120 because I know I'm probably going to need that. Adults tickets cost $8 each. I know I'll need that. Children's tickets cost $5 each. And the total earned from ticket sales was $840. How many tickets of each type were sold? Okay, so that's our question. To understand it, you know the cost of each ticket, um, adult ticket and child ticket. So adult ticket, again, was $8. A child ticket was $6. You know the total amount earned. That was here, $840. Um, in ticket sales and that they sold how many tickets? So let's look back up. Oh yeah, they sold 120 tickets. So what do you need to know is how many of each type, how many adult tickets and how many children tickets? Okay, so we're gonna make a guess and check it. We're gonna adjust it until we get our answer right. So first guess, I'm gonna guess they sold 70 adult tickets and 50 children's tickets. So 70 times 8 and 50 times 5. So 70 times 8, what would that be? Well, 70 times 8, 0, 7 times 8, 8 times 7 is, we know 8 times 7 is 56, so we got 560. We want to add that to 5, or sorry, 50 times 5. So 50 times 5, we got 0, we got 25, 250. So how many do we have? We have $560 in adult tickets and $250 in children's tickets. In total, we have $810. Well, we know that they actually sold $840 worth of tickets, so this guess is too low. So now we're going to adjust our guess and try again. So now we move on to guess number two, and we wanna make sure we remember we need $840 worth of tickets. That's what we're checking for. So our next guess is 90 adult and 30 children. So nine times eight, that's going to give us $720 in adults tickets. 30 times five, that's that's three times five, that would give us 15 or $150 in children's tickets. So let's add that together. Um, and we get $870. So $870, and we know we're looking for that 840, so this guess is too high. So let's move on to guess number three. So we've gotten too low, now too high with 870. Let's try 80 adult and 40 children. Well, eight times eight is 64 for 640. 40 children's tickets at $5 a piece. So it's 40 times five would be 200. 640 plus 200, oh yay, that gives us 840 tickets. So it says 80 adult tickets cost 640 and 40 children's tickets cost 200. Since 640 plus 200 is 840 and 80 plus 40 is 120, the guess is correct, yay! So we are done, we know that they sold, again, 80 adult tickets and 40 children tickets. So now you guys go ahead and try the your turn problem about the museum. Um, I'll work out some of the work and see if we get it correct. Okay, so I have just highlighted some of the main parts and then I 
And then I put the main parts down here. As you can see, I listed them adults, students, total paid, and total that went. My first guess was that seven adult or sorry, twenty adults went at seven dollars a piece, and forty-five students went at four dollars a piece, and I got three hundred and twenty dollars, which was too high. I then guessed that only ten adults went at seven dollars a piece and that 55 students went at four dollars a piece and I turned out to be right so I go back up and what do they want to know they want to know how many tickets of each type did they buy so I look at my problem and I say okay they got 10 adult tickets adult tickets and they got 55 student tickets, 55 student tickets. So I'll be checking to make sure this is right tomorrow. Um, see you then.